Hi, today we are going to learn this JavaScript conditional statement which is if and else. So first we are going to learn this a conditional if a statement. So it means the conditional statement is a set of rules to perform if a certain condition is met. The if statement is used to be executed and a block of code if only only if the condition is specified the holds for the two. So it means there you can see some example of code and let's uh, first understand about that algorithm chart. So there is basically start of your if condition and there is we have write some condition over here if the condition is true then it will be run this block and if the block have some code then it will be execute that if it the condition is not matched then it will be run the false this false direction which is exit and it will be make exit and when it is the true and it will be exit of this code enter of this code over here this and true code and then end of this process so this is we are some basic example and i'm going to do that all of this example into our coding studio so let's get started okay now here i have opened my visual code studio now i need to create a file on our js folder now create a file i'm going to create in that file if else and another if dot js so creating that file now hide the left side of window here now back to our index.html file now we have to connect that javascript file we have which is have created so i just need to remove that previous one now connect this and it is connected now save this file it was successfully connected now open with the lab server and we are on there now we just need to open this our inspection mode now select the console over here and you can see the library loaded is enabled now back to our coding studio and open that if else.if.js file now here we are going to take the variable keyword for the lead and taking that lead variable now we are going to take some numbers over here numbers array function over here okay there is equal and then we are going to take terminate of this line of our variable now taking for the numbers of the random over here so it is numbers is equal to the square bracket and inside of this i'm taking some number over here one comma one comma okay two comma one comma two comma three comma one comma two so it is i have provided some random number over here now terminate this line over here now we have to write the condition for for the condition keyword which is if and take a function over here now we are going to write some condition over here the condition it is our numbers the numbers on a square bracket i'm taking the zero which is one or zero section you know that is there for this the array function zero one two three this is counted from the zero and one or zero section this the number we have this one so now we want to provide that the second one which is on this or zero one two section the same number also over here so now here is equal to numbers and take a square bracket and here which is two so this is we have the zero serial we have the same number one and zero one two two also have we have the same number which is one so now we have take this the condition of this statement now open the curly braces over here now we're going to print some text over here and which is console dot log and take function over here now typing some string over here it's correct so you have write this message over here now end of this now end of this our curly braces section of over also here this is terminated we have successfully so now we have this provide the condition which is zero is the section this is one and this is one section this is the array number is which is two now if it this statement is correct then it will be run that script one which is it's correct now save this file and back to our browser now you can see it's correct it was displaying here so this means the script is perfectly run over here for our if statement and now if we are going to check in for this for this one there we have the similar number that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so we are going to providing here this 5 there is 0 section we have 1 and the 5 section we have also the 1 now save it and let's see that there we can see it was correct but if we don't provide here something we provide here the wrong number this is 4 and save this file and what it show so now you can see there is nothing was showing on here so this is basically mistakes and we are going to do the practical for this else statement and else if over there also. So now I'm just ending of this. So this is our else if statement we have completed. Now we're going to cover for this else and the else if section over here. Okay, now we're going to learn this the condition of else and else if statement. 
for the else statement you can see some chart over here this is the start and the condition if it falls then it will be launched for run for this else if the false the condition is false and then it will have some execution of this code in our else section then it will be run the else section code and if it true then it will be run this true code and then end of this process over here and there you can see some example also there in the coding if the statement is a b c and this condition statement will be b run if there is not match then it will be run this b and then now looks for something over here so there is something this let's number and this is for the else section and there is only for that we have this provide this uh, screenshot over the demo on here this else but i will show you that another extra example which is how you can use that else if so there is for the else if you have to need at least three condition over there so i'll be doing the practical over here so let's go to our visual code studio okay now we're using the same file over here now i just making here a comment that it will be not displayed over here okay now we're going to taking for this for the if fails example over here so i'm taking that same condition from i'm copying from here i just copy it and back to over here for this section and we're going to make that unhide of this or comment over here so here i'm just changing that value which is we are providing here this 0 1 2 and 3 so i'm providing 3 so this is basically i know that it is not correct so this is i'm going to using that we're going to use for this else block so for this we're going to take over here in a space or we can take on this one line so take that else and open the curly braces over here now taking that the console condition over here also the same way we can we need to write the condition but there is a condition is we have write it already if it not mess then it will be run this of our else block now take this copy of this uh, print of text now here and we're going to writing here this it's wrong okay i'm writing here simply it's wrong okay now save it and back to the browser over here and you can see it was wrong so it was successfully run our else block so which is we have provided this condition is not correct we provide we know that and we have did that mistake on with knowingly so this is we want to run our else block so this means when you have running some program over here then if you are providing this your if section is incorrect then it will be run your else section which you, were, you have set it some condition over here so this is we have condition complete that of our if and else condition so now we are going to do another example for which is if else if condition over here now taking here the else and if condition now we just need to uncomment okay now first let's comment copy this line up here and make it comment so that it will not display over here now back to here and paste this line of code so now here we are going to add another condition over here also and which is else and it is if over here so now it will be i'm going to writing here this it's also the correct it's okay let me write it it is second block second block and it is our first block if i are st first block now we need to write some condition over here also now we are going to copy this condition from here and take a copy now after this else if section over here now paste this line of code now take a space over here and we're going to providing here this another condition which is actually i'm no i know that this is for the 0 1 2 and this is i'm going to provide here this two section and which is for the one and it is not mass over our four pipeline i'm just going to provide it 0 1 2 3 4 5 so there is no two so it is not mass so it will be also not executed over here so here we're going to take for this else and l section and then take the curly braces over here and it will be run the third block okay it's need to be console so let me copy this line from here simply and provide it here then for we need to changing for it i'm going to changing it third block so it is third block and we have provided here one condition and this second condition this first condition second condition and if it will be executed for if the first condition mass then it will be run this execute for the first block and if it not mass then it will be changed sick for this else if section and if it mass then it will be run this one and if it is still not mass then it will be run 
directly on this or else section over here so i provided this all condition is not matching which is false in our for exacting expecting for our variable of which is number so it should be run our else section over here now save this file and back to your browser you can see it was run this our third block now we want to run here this section for this one which is one section this is two and it is we have exactly one here is zero one two three which is our three of array element so here i'm providing it three and then save it now it will be runs our else if and which is our second block now back to browser and you can see it was run our second block now we have already get a statement and which is mass one here so now it will be not go for the else section so this is basically if else and else if and basically a statement work so if you understand it all process you can give us the like about this video here and if you don't understand anything process about here so you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and if you want to get more some tutorial about it then you can subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you will never miss any tutorial from us